Well, I, yeah, we've made it harder on ourselves than perhaps we needed to. Um, give Grand Canyon credit for you know being very disciplined defensively. They were very athletic uh, and gave us some problems there. But I thought you know for as much possession as we had, we still didn't click quite on the offense. Um, you know, with uh, integrating our forwards, I think it takes a little longer than I anticipated. Um, nevertheless, you know, you got to win those games one way or another. You got to find that one opportunity, and that's what we said in overtime. You know, we got to look for that one opportunity that we get um, where we expose a weakness and hopefully capitalize on it. With so many good chances early and m missing, was the team starting to lose confidence? Maybe. No, I don't think. Like I don't think it's losing confidence. I think it's it's the, the guys were a little bit ahead of themselves, and I think they were very uptight about it. You know, playing at home, obviously, you want to score more goals. You want to have an easier out, uh, and it didn't happen. And the longer the game goes on, then the more nervous we got about it, you know. And so, but I give the team credit. I mean, we we just look for the next play, next play, next play, next chance, next chance, next chance, and then finally uh, we were fortunate enough with our substitute coming in and scoring right away. Is there progress in the persistence that you guys showed, knowing that you know you're? Nearly 40 shots on goal over that without a, without yeah, well, a score, knowing that they kept at it, regardless yeah. of how frustrating that was to be. Yeah, I, I think that's what you will see. You know, we cannot change that. I mean, we are happy to have those 40 shots. We'd rather have 40, sh 40 shots for us than against us. But sure. um, I still think, you know, when you're looking at some of the shots that were rushed, uh, I think maybe here or there a square pass would have been maybe a little bit a better option still to find an open player. Um, and you know, sooner or later the ice will break where we where we get the early goal, and then maybe it's two, three in a game. Yes, when we play regularly in our season. We play just uh, yeah. You have your uh, your win or you have your uh, your draw, but I didn't have the overtime. I was I'm not used to it, so. So you didn't know about the rule? No, I didn't know. Okay. The guys told me so. <laughs> yeah. So I guess how, how how long afterward did they tell you? No, I know, like, when it was overtime, they told me, okay, golden goal, so one goal. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess talk about the sequence where you come in, second overtime. Yeah. Obviously, you guys had a lot of corner. We had a lot, yeah. Uh, up to that point. What were you, what was different about that sequence? Maybe the so ball. I'm not the sure. Position. So they didn't put a very tall guy on me. It was quite, not so long. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, Julius told me, get your advantage from your height. And that's what I did. I just pushed him a little bit and I went for the header. How frustrating was it offensively to look maybe in the second half like it was starting to affect you guys knowing yeah. that you still had a zero on the board it did. late in your second yeah. match of the season? And the trick is to keep the patience, you know, and uh, last of uh, Friday we didn't have that. We rushed into our game, we didn't play very mature and I think we did quite a better job this uh, today, but still you need to keep the patience to get the ball going get the dynamics going and then you just wait for your moment. Well, now it wasn't overtime. It counts as a win, so we're happy with it. The experience of getting your first golden goal as a D1 soccer player, the rush, the adrenaline oh, that comes yeah. through it, what's that like? So when they told me, I was I was uh, imagining, imagining, so what will it be if I scored the last goal? Mm -hmm. And it did, so then you just ran off, ran off you run off you through to the guys, beat everybody, yeah. That's, it's a good feeling, I can tell you that, yeah. It's a good feeling. 